Here's a fun little activity that you can do with the kids. You can create your own custom animated planets. Let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how I did it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna turn my background black and then I am gonna go to elements and I am going to grab a circle. Come on Canva, I'm gonna grab a circle and I'm gonna make it as big as I want my planet to be. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that white I'm going to go and turn it white. I'm going to go file, download. I'm in video format, so I'm going to make sure that's a PNG. I'm going to download it, and then I'm going to come over and remove my background. Now, you can do this within Canva, and I do believe Canva now uses all our Remove BG's technology. So what I do in here should be the same you're doing in Canva. Come on. Come on. You can load it all the way in. Come on. Come on. It says done, but it's not. There it goes. Come on, baby. And then I'm going to drop it in here. And as you can see, you can actually port this straight over to Canva, but it's not going to be in the format I want to, so I'm not going to do that. So what I want to do now is I want to erase and restore. I want to restore. So I'm going to restore the whole background. Let's go because I want to keep the background because I am making a mask. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. It should get it off. And now, oh, it didn't. So let's restore that little corner over there. I want it all. All right. So now I want to erase the center. So I'm just going to go bloop, 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 bloop. And that's where it is. Look, there's still some up there. Let's restore that. Let's get up here. Let's see if it'll restore this corner right here. Don't, don't be funny on me. Okay, now I got, I got my center empty. That's what I want. Done. Download. We're going to head back over to Canva. So I'm going to start a new page, and what I want to do, just so we can see a little bit, is change this background color. We'll change it to purple. Um, so what I want to do now is I'm going to take that, and I am going to put it up here. So now what I have is a mask. As you can see, you can see some kind of like outlines through this. What you can do to kind of sharpen that up a little bit is go into your adjust. Um, I usually take the blur down some and that will help with that and then you take your brightness and put that all the way down and it'll start taking some of that contrast and stuff off and take some of that edge off but sometimes that's a good thing because you want that little highlighted part there so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start building our uh, building our planet so i want to circle and then I want to color my planet. Let's go with a dark blue this time. Um, let's see. Let's add a gradient. Let's make this a lighter shade of this blue. Not by much. And we'll just go. That looks pretty good. It looks planety. Um, that looks like planet colors. What are so that's what I'm going to do for that. And then what I want to do is I'm going to duplicate this here for the moment. I am going to get my border out. No, I'm not going to get my border out. Sorry, I'm not. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it solid. So I want to take this because I'm going to try to make a little bit of depth in here. So what I'm going to do is take, I'm going to go gradient. I'm going to go circle. I'm going to keep this gray but I want my gray on the outside, like so. And then what I'm gonna do is take the transparency down on this to like zero. So it just gives me a little bit of an edge on it. And then if you need some more transparency, keep doing this, click that. And then take the transparency down on this one at also, and you just keep moving it till you just get that outside, the outside like you want it with just a little bit of a hue. See like that? Now it looks like a kind of like a bubble. And when you put it over top, it just gives that little bit of juju, I guess you could call it. So now what I want to do now that I have my planet all set up, you just want to take your planet and use it. So I used this. And what I did is I changed the color to a green. And then what I did is I went over here to edit image. I went into, because I want the shadow on it. So what I did, I don't have the shadow option for that. So I go into color mix. 
maybe I go into color mix. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. I put glow on it. Once that glow is applied, you'll see um, these pop up, your adjust buttons. So I want to take a little bit of that glow off. So I'm going to take the brightness down on it some and make it dark again. And then maybe get the blur a little more, take some little blur off and make it a little more crispy. So now that I have my planet, the, 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 not my planet, now that I have my, what you may call it, my continents? Yeah. So what I want to do now is I want to go back into edit image and I want to go and I want to do shadows and I'm going to do curved just to give it a little bit of depth over top of it. I'm going to apply it and then see you can have some depth going across the top of there. So that would be that. And if you want to kind of make it go double, I would duplicate that just depending on how many times you want it to go around. And then I'll go into position here and then I'll take my layers and I'll control Take that and then group, and then I have two for me to move across. Now, to do the way I did the background is I just did some elements and I just grabbed these clouds right here. The clouds are a cumulus cloud illustration. Oh, and if you want to know this one up here, it is the world map select. So I just grabbed a couple of these and I got them down a little bit. And then I stuck a couple like at the bottom and I took the transparency down. So it's just a little bit faded, duplicate, take another one, put it on the top here like so. Now, if you're creating your own planet, I just wanted to give it some kind of like depth through here. And then the other thing I did was I duplicated it and I put it over here for me to animate. So it makes it look like it's going around. So what I want to do now that I got everything kind of in place, you can do more clouds. I did like mm, three clouds going across. So like I'll just duplicate these and we'll just put them in different positions and do those like so. And then what I want to do is position. I want to move all these backwards. What I want to do is I want to put my frame over top. Oops, come on, come on up. Come on up, baby. All right. So i got my planet going here. And the other thing I want to do now, I want to go into edit image. I want to go into my shadows. I'm going into my drop shadow. I'm going to go to the, hold on, let me make one thing before I go there. Oh, I already put my shadow in there. All right. So, okay. Screwed up a little bit here, y'all. Okay. So let's go back to my uploads because you're going to need two of these because you want a shadow on both sides. So let's line that up. And this one, let's make it the same size as the other one. So you're going to lay your two masks, masks on top of each other. Let me get some bonk bonk keys and get those kind of lined up like so. And then you're going to go into edit image. So we did that one on the left. You're going to take your shadows and you're going to go and drop again. And you're going to do one on the right. So we're going to do one on the right. And then if you need to do the offset a little bit more. Oh, wait a minute. I need the left. Hold on. Let's go. On. I already did the right. Let's do the left. The left. The offset a little bit if you want to do it like that. And then you can do the transparency a little bit more. Add some blur to it if you want to. And that will give you your kind of like your depth there of your planet. So now that we have those, what we want to do. We'll look. See. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to add our animation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into position. I'm going to grab, we're going to work on our planet first. I mean, our continents. There we go. And then what we're going to do now is I'm going to go to animate. I'm going to get the bumblebee and click that. I am going to hold the control key down and then I am going to, oh, see, I'm messing up again. Delete that. I am going to hold the shift key down and then I am going to move across but I want it to be steady 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 all the way across and you just do your animation and for some reason I just got stuck but that's okay and then you can do your animation across you can steady it of course because I need steady 
I can't slow it down anymore. I probably can slow it down a little. Just add some length to this, and that probably will slow it down. Let's see. That slows it down. Yep, that slows it down. So I added some length to it. So now I'm going to go back over and I'm grabbing a cloud. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to animate here and I'm going to hold my shift key down, drag it across like so, just to give the, it looks like the, like it's got some movement coming across and I'm going to study that and put that as done. And then you just go with your other clouds and do the same thing. If you want it to kind of, um, I did one where I kind of did a little bit. I did hold down the shift key because I wanted it to kind of look kind of more, I don't know, the movement to kind of look, I don't know. So it was a little, and I think what I'll do with that, I'll push done. I'll take that, I'll take the transparency down on that a little bit. So that's what you're going to do with your cloud. And then you're just going to turn this to black. You're going to, so you have this hanging out right here. Just go and get you a pretty old square like so. Put it over here like so. Cover up what you need to cover up if you got stuff to cover up. Turn that to black. Bam. And then let's see. Da, 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 da. This is our globe moving around. Da, da And that's how you do that. And that's a little quick, easy thing. Oh, see, I didn't finish my animation. I need another block over here. We just put another one, and you just put another one over there. We'll look at the end, and then it's disappeared. Oh, we need a little bit bigger. Ta-da, and that's how you do that. And you can make custom planets, which would be fun for kids. They made their own story, and now they want a planet to go with it, and their planet is purple with all kinds of stuff, and you want to make a little bit of a rotation on it. This is a fun way for them to do it. And I thank you for stopping by. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.